Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. The last time Florida voted, the results were reported in almost record time. It's uh, going to be an early night. A new controversial election law is to credit for the quick results. The law requires election supervisors to update results every 45 minutes after polls close. But that's just one change. The motion carries. The law also created a committee to select the state's presidential primary date. In total, there are 80 changes in the law. Most were approved by a federal court with no fight, but several drew critics. Chris Cade, a spokesman for the Florida Division of Elections, says the changes are aimed at preventing voter fraud. All 80 provisions are going to benefit Florida. Uh, many will go unnoticed, but it's going to help improve our processes. But critics of the changes argue there was very little voter fraud to begin with, and some of the provisions in the new law will keep college students and minorities from casting a ballot. The NAACP fought the provision that cut early voting from two weeks to eight days. The people that are being impacted are people of color African Americans. But the change was approved Thursday after the state reached a deal to allow 96 hours of voting in counties with past voting rights violations. You're going to have uh, up to 12 hours a day now of early voting, which means you'll have the opportunity to vote before work or after work. There's also going to be many more hours than ever before on the weekend. In the past, people who changed their address at the polls, mainly college students who moved across county lines, were still able to cast a regular ballot. Now, if they wait until Election Day to update their voter registration, they'll have to cast a provisional ballot. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.